Chris Spiker for AV Nice. We're here at the Marie Kerr Park. This is a pretty cool day for the Antelope Valley. And uh, Tom Llewellyn, you're asking the questions. What is this? Uh, this is some of our duties as host city for the 26, 2015 rather Special Olympics. Uh, we're bringing the athletes out. We're going to share with them a little Americana. We got some watermelons, some hot dogs, some hamburgers, and we're going to play a little kickball. You know, after spending the week in the big city of L.A., coming out here to the desert. It'll be a lot of fun. The athletes that we're hosting here in Palmdale this year are from Cyprus and St. Lucian. So we've got some English speakers, some Greek speakers. It's going to be a good time. Cyprus. So we have a town named Cyprus, but that's not it. It's the country of Cyprus over there in the, uh, in the Mediterranean. I believe so, yes. We're going to learn more about them, and they're going to learn more about us, and that's what it's all about. For Chris Spiker, AV Nice, let's go. Let's go. Uh, where are Where are the Olympians? Hey, we're here. We're here at the Special Olympics, Marie Kerr Park, on a breezy Palmdale afternoon. So tell us who you are and what we're doing and where what we're doing today. My name is Carrie Smith. I'm the Recreation Director here for the City of Palmdale. And we are hosting uh, the St. Lucia and Cyprus today. We are host town Palmdale for the Special Olympics World Games. Now, how many uh, athletes are we hosting here? We have 102 athletes and coaches with us today. To me, that just seems like earth shaking, shattering. That's just an amazing international event to happen here in Palmdale. We are thrilled to be a part of it, definitely. It's, it's been an exciting experience for us. This is something that we've no, obviously never done before. We've hosted the Amgen Tour of California, so we're, we're looking for opportunities to partner with, with other uh, event hosts so that we can showcase Palmdale. Well, I mean, it's good business, but it's just neat community, and it's, it's a whole new world of tourism for us. Absolutely. This is this is a new um, new opportunity for the city of Palmdale to engage with the uh, Special Olympics, and it's something that we're we're proud to be a part of. Anything else you want to say? I don't think so. Um, uh, if you can come out and join us tomorrow at Thursday night in the square, we will have the athletes there at the square at 7:30, and we'd love to show our community support and welcome them to Palmdale. That's right. They're going to be here again tomorrow. Th Carrie, thank you very much. Thank you. Assembly Member Tom Lackey, you're here. And what's your part in the festivities? I'm just here to support the event and to let them know that we're excited to have them here in our area and we, we want to wish them well and have them enjoy the success and the great atmosphere that we can provide here. The, the Special Olympics is a big deal and a big deal for California, a big deal for Los Angeles and then to have somebody come up and spend an afternoon with us in the Antelope Valley, that's pretty neat. Chris, though, that this is a rare opportunity because it's actually an international exposure. And this is rare that we'd actually have the International Special Olympics come to the Antelope Valley. So this has never happened before and probably be long before it happens again. So this is a really rare opportunity. We couldn't be more pleased to be selected as one of the communities to where we can share. And uh, we just couldn't be more excited. It might happen again now that the world knows that this is a friendly place. We can always hope. We can always hope. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, thank you. Welcome okay. to our home. Thank you. I'm Chris. Dennis Didier. Dennis. Training Director and Sports Director of St. Lucia Special Olympics. So all the way from? St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Yeah. That's and in the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah. And so how many hours to get to Los Angeles? Free to Miami. From Miami to Los Angeles, another five. So let's say eight, eight hours. And a two-hour bus ride to Palmdale. Right. Two hours. I've never seen traffic like that. Aren't you glad you live on a little island in the Caribbean? Mm, not really. Yeah, not really. But, you know, you get new experiences as you move around. So you have to deal with it. Yeah. Travel, travel is like that. But it's a lot. this trip is a lot more than travel for you. Yes, it's fun. It's entertainment meeting new people and taking part in the World Games and having the athletes attempt their sports and try and do their best. It is really just like the Olympics. It is the Olympics. It is the Olympics and it is THE Olympics. Yeah. Because when you're out there you get to meet new friends, new people, 
share different um, experiences that you share with them. So that's it. It's better than your Olympics, the original Olympics. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's uh, probably much much less commercial. Much less commercial, but athletes get to compete against people of the same ability as them. There's nobody who could run 10 seconds running against one running in 15 or 14 seconds. They're all on par, same level. No steroids here? Never. <laughs> we don't accept that. No way. How long have you been involved with the Special Olympics? I've been involved with the Special Olympics from the year 1991. Yeah. And I will not give up until I'm gone. Well, you're still a young man. Well, young in face. <laughs> but not in age. Well, what you do and what you think about keeps you, helps you stay young. Being around younger people and training them, doing a little training one, two times also. Yeah. Well, Dennis, thank you for coming. Thank you for being part of this. Thanks for coming and enjoying our hospitality. And best to you in the Olympics. Thank you for having us. All right. Okay. So my name is Timothy. I'm from Cyprus and I'm uh, competing for swimming. And uh, I would like to thank um, everybody who's volunteering here in Palmdale for the wonderful feast that we had today. Huh? As cross he is. Yeah, that's Paul. No. All right, yeah. That's about it. What events in swimming? What about, oh, okay. Um, I'm swimming from freestyle and backstroke, 400 meters. In the ocean with the sharks? No, I don't think so with the sharks, yeah. I, I prefer something more quiet and peaceful in a pool, yeah, swimming pool, it's just fine. So where is the venue for swimming, do you know? I have absolutely no clue, to be honest. A lot of but, pools. Yeah, there are a lot of pools. Well, it's kind of weird because, you know, there's a lot of stories about the drought that's going on in California. So it's kind of interesting that there are thousands of pools and everywhere, everywhere wherever you turn, there's a, a perfectly cut lawn and just perfectly green and thick, which is wonderful. But it's Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. No. Movie stars. Yeah. And a lot of um, pickup trucks with one person driving. So, yeah. A lot of pickup trucks, it's kind of alarming. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean like, but still, uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, we were driving and so there's a lane for carpool, yep. for two and up people. Just one lane, which is fairly empty, and then the rest of them, all yeah, all single. <laughs> which is kind of, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not that big or stuff, but I haven't seen, to be honest, public transportation. Where are the buses? Where are the buses? Where's the bus stop? If I want to take the bus, where's the bus stop? It's kind of weird. But yeah, but still, it's fun. Food. I love food. So, <laughs> God, I love that. God, I love that. All right, yeah. Hey, thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks a lot.